Sandy Shore here from smoothjazz.com Global Radio. I am at the fifth annual Mallorca Smooth Jazz Festival, moving about and running into some of the coolest people in the world, like this gentleman here, Gerald Beasley. <laughs> Hi. Nice to see Good you to here. Good to see you, Sandy. This, this is, is a great, great hang, right? It is a great Mallorca, hang. Mallorca, nothing Spain. like it. Wow. And for those who don't know, we're in Spain. We are, <laughs> yeah. Hola. Hola. Todo Get el up. mundo. <laughs> this is your first time? It's my first time here. Yeah. You love it, huh? I love it. First of all, I have bring all these great artists. You have fans from literally all over the world. Yes. People have come th from throughout Europe and uh, from the States too. And yeah. All for the love of jazz, huh? And it's a nice meeting ground. It's perfect. You know, I mean, ground. it's yeah. casual and fun and comfortable. And mm -hmm. for those who have not been to this part of the world, it's safe and the food is delicious and the yeah. people are welcoming. They're very welcoming, great sightseeing. Mm -hmm. And uh, this, this property itself is really beautiful too. Yes, we're, um, the festival is at the Pro Tour Biomar Hotel, uh, Grand Hotel and Spa. Mm -hmm. And Pro Tour is one of the, it's the biggest hotel owners and operators on Mallorca. Ah, they I have did not know many, that. yeah, uh -huh. a couple dozen properties here. This is nice. So and this is five star. Five star hotel. Nice. And nice. some of the most wonderful amenities. The rooms are of course gorgeous, and then the spa. I haven't been to the spa yet. The have you pool, been? The pool. Uh -huh. Oh, it's my home yeah. away from home. <laughs> well, you yeah. work so hard. You you need that. You need a little break. It's just fantastic. Yeah, I mean, you yeah. go and they've got it's like a jet pool. Americans don't know about these pools. Mm -hmm. They take off 10, 15 years of your life. Really? And then you can go put them back on at the bar. <laughs> That's how it works. <laughs> this has been just great. And people really, the people who come for this festival, I mean, it is a real party. It they is. They call it a jazz soul party. Yeah. Jazz funk soul party, and that's no exaggeration. No, it's People it's have that. a blast here. And I like that difference too from American festivals. Mm -hmm. By day, you are on your own. You can go sightseeing, like right. you said. You right. can lay by the pool or go to the spa mm -hmm. or play a game or have yeah. some cocktails. And at night, that's when it gets kind of cool. In the European way, they start the music at nine o'clock at yeah. night. And I mean, how fun is that? It's, it's kinda, a lot of fun. It's like we're kids and we get to stay up late. Exactly, and the other night, of course, because of Prince's passing, Yeah. The DJ played a whole evening of prank stuff, and it was this place was just electric yeah. the, after the show. There's no stopping, and that you're referring to Richard Edwards, Richard, too, yep. yeah, who's a wonderful smooth jazz radio person from from the UK, and he's mm. DJing here at night, it's too and cool. it will go till four in the morning. Yeah. And uh, I mean, I'm not there at four in the morning. No, my but, hair uh, is evidence, <laughs> though, that I was there. <laughs> So let's talk a little bit about what you've got yeah, going on musically sure, sure. because you're one of our favorite bassists. Oh, and thank you. You have a slightly different approach to the format. You're mm -hmm. funky and soulful, and yeah. you've been around a long time and played with a lot of people that we admire as well. Sure. And can we drop a few names? Well, you know, I cut my teeth playing with Grover Washington Jr., the great Grover Washington Jr., for a lot of years with him. And then did the stuff on the more adventurous side with Joe Zavano from the mm -hmm. Zavano Syndicate. Many people know that name from Weather Report, did right. that as well. And then I've collaborated with a lot of my good friends in the genre like Kirk Whalum and uh, Rick Braun and, and so many of these awesome musicians. Very cool. Mm -hmm. And I caught your show and it was just, it's just really fun. I mean, you're an experience is what you are. Oh, that's It's nice. not a concert, it's an experience. Oh, that's nice yeah. to say. I really love it. And my, Thank you. The bass is in this format, I, I love it as the lead instrument. Mm -hmm. Because it's like, take, it's like somebody finally said, it's okay to take the groove and put it right up front. That's Add exactly what it is. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And, and you know, there are, there's that. so many great players who are, are advancing the bass. Of course, we lost Wayman Tisdale, who was just awesome. Yeah. But you know, you have people like Nathan East, who's also performing here. Yes. His, his show is one of the last ones for this weekend. And he's a fantastic musician. So there are many who are, like you say, bringing the bass to the forefront. But it's also that sound is, there's something special, I it's think, It's round about the and rich, yeah. and yeah. it moves you. It does. Literally moves you, on, and, and that can be physically and emotionally. Mm -hmm. But I just love it. That's my favorite, you know, instrument in the format. And I always tell people if I were to play anything, I would want to play the bass. Well, you know. I'd like a lesson. Yeah, so you can get one of those. <laughs> See we, how I just led right into that for you? Well, you know, for a number of years, I know you know this, we have something, we've had something called bass boot camp. It's an instructional program. We've done it uh, since 2002. We bring bass players from literally all over the world to the Philadelphia area where I live. 
and we have a whole intense weekend of workshops. Yeah. And we introduce bass often to people who are just starting for the first time, like maybe you. That's cool. And how can they find out more? They can go to my website, GeraldVeasley.com. Also, BassBootCamp.com works, and you'll find more about that event. It happens That's in the good. spring every year. Okay, and are you working on anything new right now? I musically? am. You know, I'm from Philadelphia. Yes. So I've had this lifelong love of the sound of Philadelphia and that music. So my next project is going to be a tribute to that music. Good. That's great. That's wonderful. And it's such a special part of the world, not just the I States, agree, but agree. the music that came from Philly. Yeah, it has, will never die. No. It has such a special place. It's the yeah. soundtrack for all of us. And you have to represent. I've got to represent. Totally, got to yeah. Represent. And I'm glad you brought up the Prince thing. It's shocked the music world. Yeah. Um, it knocked us right off of our feet this yeah. last week. And, um, and maybe, I don't know, maybe that will influence you a little bit too in your next recording. Maybe there'll be a little something in there. You Could know, be that, that's, a little Philly love on a Prince song. You know, it, it would be interesting. I don't know if you heard this uh, the other day. Somebody posted Nina Simone doing a version of Sign of the Times. Really? you got to check that out. It's oh, unbelievable. I will. I will. So his music is the kind of music that almost anybody could find something that they'll want to say through that music. It's really yeah. amazing. And I think we found a video we posted on our SmoothJazz.com Facebook page with Prince and Miles Davis. Yeah. And not very many people knew they had a moment to collaborate, but I, f I always felt like Prince is to pop what Miles was to jazz. That's a great analogy. Yeah, I think they're, so. They he were was just a so... larger than life presence, and you can't imagine music without him having come through it. His no. impact was so wide reaching and so deep. And I didn't think it was going to be over. Right? I think that's the shocking part. That is the shocking part. I think to me, Prince was indefinite. Yeah, he, he yeah. looked so healthy, yeah. and it felt like. Yeah, uh, right, like he had found the fountain of youth. He did, yeah. And, uh, yeah, it's shocking. We have a legacy, yeah. and we'll be grateful for that. And I, I really want to know exactly, all of us want to know what, what's happened. And I think it's like, it's amazing to me how personal this is for everyone, because he was part of us. I'm know? struck by that, too. Yeah. A lot of folks, I mean, throughout the world, who have been just moved, maybe in a way that they didn't even realize they would have been. I know. That's what's amazing about it. I think it's mm -hmm. true, very true. So it's been great here this weekend. We're hearing a lot of Prince music through the uh, Richard. Yeah, Richard. We're dancing to it. it, where it's cathartic. Yeah. It's been great, and it's been wonderful hanging out with you, spending oh, time with you. Same here, Gerald. Sandy. You're the best. Oh. Sandy is single handedly, she and Donna, uh, Donna, and all of the great folks, the folks that are working. To just keep this genre alive and keep it vibrant, of course, the, the fans are doing their part by coming to places like Mallorca. Yes. And we're all pulling. Yeah. All right, we're all keeping the music going. And we love you for that. And thank you. We I really you appreciate that. that. Well, I mean, this music is, I mean, it's lifestyle. It's part of our fabric. Yep. And it, it, there's no need for it to get dated and end. No, not at I all. I mean, it needs to grow and we need to bring in younger people in our current you know format stars such absolutely, as yourself absolutely we have uh, now without all of the the business part of the music business without the consulting and the you know penny pinching and this That's and right. that we you as an artist get to do what you absolutely. want and here's what we found out mm -hmm. is that the audience is receptive so all I that consulting that for 20 I years, yeah. well, I don't know exactly what that was about, but the audience wants what you're making. Well, I appreciate that. And I, I, think and I the, love that. The time for the gatekeepers is past. Yes. And now people have access to so much. And as artists, we have direct access to you and to, to the fans. Yeah, to the and fans. that's very, very cool. Yeah. I don't know if you know this, one last minute plug about something we're doing. In Philadelphia, we're um, promoting concerts at a place called South. It's a new venue in Philadelphia. Oh, wow. Really beautiful, upscale club where we present jazz six nights a week. Okay. My wife and I, Roxanne, we curate a series called Unscripted Jazz Series. I think I've seen your emails. Oh, it's so much fun because okay, cool. what we do, to, um, kind of piggyback on what you said about those consultants and gatekeepers being out of the way. Yeah. One thing that I realized is that folks like um, Gerald Albright and Kirk Whalum and you know, all these great artists, their experience is so broad. Yes, yes. Right? Yes. So the part of what we do with Unscripted is we bring in those type of artists. We had Peter White there last week, and Mesa and all kinds of folks, and we let them do their music just the way they want to. And then we say, hey, what is it you'd like to play that folks would love to hear you play that they wouldn't expect? That's really cool. So, for example, um, we had Mesa do a Nancy Wilson song. 
Okay. So these artists are bringing in some of the classics too. I like it. Just to show how rich, and you know, to your point, the audience is extremely receptive. Yeah. Our audiences are so sophisticated. Right. They can appreciate so much in music. And I think the internet has leveled mm -hmm. the playing field. Yeah. You know, YouTube and people get no longer having to get uh, fed music. I mean, they're choosing. That's right. And they tell us what they want to hear. That's which right. Which we, we love. And I love the name Unscripted. Unscripted. Very because the way we do it is because anything can happen. Yeah. We'll go off script. And the, what it shows is just how talented these music, musicians cool. are. We'll that keep, they can just do it in a moment. Keep up the good work. Thank we'll find you. out more about that too at awesome. GeraldBeasley.com. That's right. Okay. It's been real fun spending uh, time with always. you. We have a lot to You're talk the about. Best. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, we, we'll do it again soon. Thank you for All right, inviting and me. thanks so much for tuning in See here. We appreciate you. Uh, and I'm Sandy Shore for SmoothJazz.com, Global Radio.